imagine a situation that we don't even have eight uh, uh, we don't even have uh, opportunity to get eight samples from one batch uh, so in the case where we confounded two higher order interactions we use four blocks so imagining that we have four uh, large um, batch where we can create eight uh, sample from each batch because it's 32 total experiments now if we have a situation where we don't even have um, uh, we don't have we cannot create um, eight uh, samples from one blocks then um, we have to confound some more let's say we want to confound we can only produce say four uh, samples from each batch so in that case if we confound three um, uh, three interactions three higher order interaction then we can create eight blocks now how the eight blocks are created if we use three higher order interaction treat these two as like you know variable like a and b and then get another c maybe um, cde or um, abc you could do anything that is not uh, found by interacting these two so we could confound these three now treat them as a three variable and have all treatment combination remember when you have three variables this is the treatment combination we, we created and you also know how we created that so use that base uh, two uh, factor and then add it factor c with all low and then add it factor c with all high we're going to do the same thing here so basically all negative here and then we'll, we'll add because we have treatment combination all treatment combination for the other previous two uh, higher order interactions we can just copy and paste here and then have plus one plus one plus one uh, and then plus one so similarly this goes in block one two three and then this goes in block five block six block seven block eight so this is the eight blocks now we gotta have to create one more column to find that cde interaction so we can simply multiply c times uh, times d times e so that will give us the signs for cde to so go all the way down so we got that now after this this thing oh this is fine i don't know why we have this interaction let's delete that i can't remember why we had that so we got have to we have to now type so this up to one to four blocks that's fine now this one minus one and then two plus so that is uh, this one so block seven this one goes in block seven and then this one goes in block eight and then two minus one plus so that is five block five and then that is block six this one is also block six this one is two minus one plus block five and then block eight that one is block seven this one is block four so on the first one minus then plus then minus so that is block three and then this is block two and then block one again block eight again and then that is block seven that is block mm, six that is block minus minus one so that's gonna block five and then one minus minus so that is block five uh, let me move it down so i can see better okay so here we got eight and this one goes in plus plus minus so that's four so it is minus plus minus so minus plus minus so that's three so it's three and then plus plus minus 
that is four this is all minus so that's one and then one minus minus that is two and then minus minus one that is five one minus one one that is block six and then minus one one block seven and then block eight now if we count we'll see that we have exactly four uh, one blocks so this is one two three oops where is another one we count it again one two so all minus one minus one minus one two all right so i found a mistake here actually eight was uh, uh, all plus but look what i did here this is all minus so that's one and then we made a mistake in five five is minus minus one now five that's good minus minus one minus minus one good this is very I fatiguing that's five minus minus one that's good minus minus one that's good still I'm not finding another this one is one minus minus so one minus minus is actually two now if you count how many ones I just counted here count if one so two I count two I count block uh, three I count block four so there there should be all four um yeah for uh sample in all on block so if you want to so see what is run in block one basically that is the all low so that one the control goes in block one so if you're just trying to write just one block so for example block one horse goes in block one control that goes in block one and then so here I got one block, one, and then keep going, this one, A, B, C, D, and then this one goes in block one, A, C, E, and then one more. So let's go one more. So that is this one, um, B, D, E. So as B D E so this goes in block one and then similarly you can find what what, what to run in block two block three and so on um, you I want to uh, explain one more thing here because um, if you look at the degrees of freedom for blocks, you got eight blocks. So degrees of freedom for block is basically eight minus one, which is seven. Now, if you see, we have only confounded three um, uh, three uh, higher order interaction. This one, uh, BCE and CDE, they have all one degrees of freedom. So I have that is three so if I add these three degrees of freedom that's three and then so on so I'm actually missing four uh, missing four of the combination of the interactions that is also confounded and the information cannot be retrieved so to find those four what we have to do is basically we have to multiply create all the interaction of these three so ADE times BCE and then ADE times CDE and then BCE times CDE and then ADE And then all three of them interacting. So that is a, sorry about that, technical problem. So that is A, D, E times B, C, E times C, D, E. So that is also confounded. So 
if we get this one so that um, e square that cancels so I will have a B C D from there from here I will have a C and then D E cancel from here I will have B C cancel D and then from here I will have a B C and then D well I got two C so I cannot have C uh, I think only a B so the total number of um, interaction confounded is also these three that we have seen here also this a b s c b d and a b c d so they're also confounded the information about these cannot be retrieved either if you have um, only uh, you know four samples that you can create from one batch uh, if you have five variables to complete 32 experiments uh, you if you only can run uh, four samples from one batch then you got eight blocks and then if you have eight blocks you cannot basically have information about seven um, higher order interactions